It is no secret that recently Bigot has grown bigger than any K-pop company has ever gotten and on a scale unimaginable. Of course there is one reason behind the success of Big Hit and that is no other than the worldwide sensation BTS. It is a well known story that BTS came from a small company as Big Hit was about to go bankrupt, Big Hit had their last chance through BTS and it worked. Over time BTS became arguably the most successful group in the world. Big Hit went from a small company and became this mega conglomerate in the K-pop industry. Of course, after seeing how well BTS did and how much they helped grow the company, Big Hit wants to repeat that success, replicate that success. As they collaborate with companies like CJ ENM and Source Music, they always talk about their know-how in managing and creating artists and their content. So why can't Big Hit replicate the success of BTS? Well first, let's look at their previous attempts for this group TXT. TXT was Big Hit's first group to debut after the debut of BTS, so there is already a lot of pressure on them as Big Hit doesn't want to be a one hit wonder. They don't want to only find success through one group. As the era of BTS inevitably ends, Big Hit wants to obviously continue to be this large company. TXT won Rookie of the Year awards left and right, getting 100 million views on their debut music video and millions of likes. There was lots of hype for the group and it seemed to have paid off. However, statistically, the hype and the success of the group was not constant. Their views lessened in the following years and they won less music show wins as they did from their debut. TXT did well, but not as well as Big It had wanted. Their next group they created was Enhypen. Collaborating with CJ ENM, they were created through the survival series Island with a total of 7 members. Seems familiar? Enhypen has gained 2 million subscribers and their debut video currently has more than 28 million views. Again, Enhypen did well, but statistically Enhypen did not do as well as Big It would have wanted, as they have even less numbers than the previous group TXT. But the question is, why did they not do as well as BTS? They had more promotions than BTS did, they had similarly uploaded content to share with their fans like TXT's Tea Time and Enhypen's Enter Key, similar to BTS's Bangtan Bombs. They're under the same company, they have interesting contents, they have interesting concepts, some of the producers are the same and more, so why didn't it work? Well, one of BTS's most appealing factors that contributed to their success in many ways is their story. Their story is a story that is very unlikely to be replicated. The story of being the underdogs in the industry, the story of climbing their way up to the top, their story where they fought through the relentless hate and won through it in the end. Now that Big Hit is no longer that small underdog company, but a huge company that is taking over the industry, things are very different. Now if you debut from Big Hit, you have the same privilege as the big three have had. You have the spotlight even before debuting. Big Hit has the influence to give you rookie of the year now, when you're against really strong competitors. The story has changed, and the story is different. BTS was able to use social media and content to really grow their name, but now everyone does that. So what is the conclusion? It's impossible to replicate the success of BTS. It's impossible to replicate their story. So Big It can't just apply what they learn from BTS and apply it to these other new groups. They have to adapt and change and create new and unique stories for these future groups. Thank you for watching.